may differ than what we taste. Not not always. Like this has some has some tropical flavor for me already. I bet you know. You know, and I remember we've had Fisher before here about four or five years ago, and tropical was one of the flavors that um, was predominant. Anything else in? Pineapple? Little lychee? Almost, there's definitely a bit of lychee in it. Too. You know, Matt would say lychee just because. Uh, <laughs> You know, finish this with some good acidity, too. Almost like a little nectarine in it. Yeah. Yeah. White fleshed. White flesh fruit. Touch of lemon rind, lemon zest at the end. But this wine is, is relatively light. So. So as opposed to doing maybe a richer dish, I may may try to go with a lighter, a lighter one, depending on what this <coughs> other, the other Chardonnay uh, tastes like, because they're probably going to both both go together. And this is the what Fisher? That was the Culture Signia. Nineteen ninety-five. So it's not even on this list. No, not in, not in the original. They, they added it. Sometimes they send extra wine, and we taste it. I mean, they, the person at the winery may decide, uh, you know, let's send another another wine. And it almost has a little bit of a, a, a delayed kind of melon. Which one, the first one, yeah, the coach? It has like a delayed melon almost. Uh, I want to say, what's that green melon? Honeydew. Yeah. Do you get that at all? I mean, I'm talking after the finish. It's sort of like. Yep. Way, way back in the back of the throat. I found them pretty light, though, overall. Yeah, For Chardonnay, they're pretty light. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't have that. It doesn't have that much of a. Even the color is sort of grapey. This is what? This is the second? This is the Whitney's Vineyard? I find that the taste very similar. Oh, very similar. Well tropical. Well pineapple. You know, even though these are from two totally different vineyards, you know, the winemaker style is still there. So that's what I talked about earlier, how, that when, how the winemaker has like a particular style. So even though we have two different, totally different grapes in the vineyards, this one tastes more of the nectarine. Yeah, I get a little bit more of the um, aromatic kind of flavors. The second one? Yeah. yeah. The second one has a better nose. Yeah. It's more like a floral and a bouquet as well. But you're right, it's not, they're not, they're not particularly good body wines. Yeah, some, some wines will taste be different vineyards, be completely different wines. Sometimes so obviously somebody's got this vision of what what they want to produce and yeah yeah that's yeah. what they produce. That's you know I mean that's sort of an interesting thing I've, I've always found, in, in, which is probably this topic of another conversation. But you know when you cook at home, if I'm if I'm cooking at like say pasta at home, I can cook it one night and it taste one way. If I make it the exact same yep. way the second night, it's going to come out tasting different. Exactly. But if I come in here and order a dish, it's going to taste the same. It's going to always taste the same. And that's that's where the real talent comes in. Yeah. That's the tough part. And the same thing with wine. It's tough to create the same thing. So, so what they're doing is this, whoever the winemaker is, has a real clear idea of what he or she See, so a lot creamier. Well, 
Oh, this should get a little residual vanilla at, at the end. You had the melons on the first one. Mm -hmm. On this one here is a bit more vanilla. But I think what I'm going to focus on on these two wines is keep it light and then and then play off the citrus because there's a lot of citrus ending on both those wines. You know, for the to complement the dish. And you'll, you'll, you will serve both of these wines with this first course? Yeah, this would be the first course wine. Both of them? Both of these. Yeah, yeah. So there's Fisher Coach and Sydney 95, and what's the other one? The Fisher Whitney's Vineyard 1995. And how, um, how far in advance do you guys Taste. <laughs> when did you begin tasting? Oh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago was the first time. No, but last year was like, that was the classic. That was, uh, we were tasting some wines the day before. Yeah. The day before. Yeah. The day before. Until I the morning of the... <laughs> and then I had to, no, that afternoon we taste yeah. them, and then I call in and say, listen, i got to have this, this, and this. And the next morning they say, well, are you kidding me? we got to get this stuff. And I said, well, I... And to get it in. It's not the most he common loves, thing that you can just get he it. He loves that. <laughs> yeah, I kind of did that. Like produce the menus and have Honey, I'm not going to be home tonight. <laughs> Wait, last time we did it at 11 o'clock at night because that was the earliest chance that we got to do it. Then we have Jadot if you want to check these out for you. Head up. These, oh, you're going to like these. You want to try your Jadot though? All right. Oh, yeah, you're going to like Big difference. These are the, uh, the white burgundies. It's more glasses behind you if you want. Actually, where are they? Why don't you grab one, take one of these that we have? We have two shadows. We have. Uh, where are they? I have the wrong table there, but we can't even have this. Now, what is this? This is the Louis Jadot Chardonnay Chardot, 1996. And then we have the uh, Poligny Montrachet, which is going to be excellent. Yeah. Now that should be. That's the one you want to try. You know, the way it should work, the Chardonnay, the 96 Chardonnay should be a lot lighter than the Polini. It should be full body, yeah. buttery. Show some good earthiness to it. They both should show, oh, show some good. earthiness. This is a lot of earth. Right, just smell it. Mossy. Yeah, grass. Very. Oh, good mushroom dish, yeah. That would be good. It's because yeah. it's got that sort of. Um, it has that, yeah. You know, that fenny, swampy. Yeah, it does. With some little, it's surprising though, surprisingly, the sweetness at the end. And the it's taste. different than the nose. It's more citrus. Yeah. In the nose, you capture a bit of um, sweetness in the nose. I don't know if it's, if it's tasting that way. Actually, now that I've tasted it, you can also get a lot more in the nose of the citrus. Lemon. Well, this the Matrache. This talks, the nose talks Chinese food to me. <laughs> yeah. Very lemony on the uh, mm -hmm. taste okay. all the way through. First thing I got. Not medium body. Definitely different than the nose. What what year is Matrachet? Like 1996. Oh, the Matrachet not the A9. Like, see something like this, this first one, the Chardonnay, <coughs> would be perfect with like a smoked salmon or a smoked sable, something that had like a little smokiness in there. Because that citrus is so powerful. And one of the things I was talking about earlier is how sometimes you just don't want to go with the same flavor.